Well, um, I'm at Hogpin Gap. I stayed here all day today. It uh, started raining about dawn and just lasted most of the day. Uh, the last several hours didn't, so I went out, collected some firewood, um, uh, chatted up some people that uh, one guy that stayed here over the day, over the day, actually three other guys stayed here over the day. Two of them left about three hours ago since they think that they might, there might not be any more storms. Last I saw, Weather Channel said storms till mid, uh, till one o'clock in the morning. Anyway, I uh, figure I have a wet tent. I'm going to wait a little bit and see if I can get it to dry in the morning. Um, uh, yesterday was, uh, I was a little, I thought I was going to be able to make it to Low Gap Shelter. I didn't even get half that far, and I was very depressed about it. Um, I was, uh, I was, uh, completely mis, uh, mis, uh, calculating my, um, uh, how far I'd gone. I was, um, I ended up thinking I was on one mountain. I was, I was two mountains over. And, uh, ended up that, um, saving a little bit of time on, uh, and weight on carrying another liter of water, uh, was miscalculated because it was warm yesterday and I had had drunk most of the water I had uh, coming down and I was kind of holding off on drinking what I had left so I was probably more than a little bit dehydrated and I came down on uh, Tesnati Gap and I was really kind of bummed because I knew I still had another uh, mile to go uh, before water and I was very it was, and it was also very late, and uh, um, I had met those, uh, met some wonderful kids from uh, from the city, and uh, it sounded like they had a little bit of island in them too. So, um, anyway, but they were a bunch of nice kids. Uh, I think you saw them on yesterday's second video. Um, anyway, so I come into Tesnati Gap, and I get down there to the parking lot, and laying on the ground. And someone might have just forgotten them. Was a liter bottle of water, and then a smaller blue bottle of um, of water as well. And uh, I was I was very happy about the trail magic, whether whether it was intended or not. Because you know, I, I had gotten to the point where I was actually praying. I was like, please let there be someone uh, down there with water, or maybe just stand out there and you have a hold up a sign. Agua, water, anything. Anyway, so um, so I actually literally drank down uh, a liter of water. Um, uh, and uh, and carried you know, carried everything up. Wildcat Mountain. I know it was the end of the day, and I'm gonna. Um, it's a. It was a little bit because of the end of the day. But that was a that was a beast. That was a straight up and. You know, old bard and, you know, climbing over rocks and it was a, it was a vicious little, uh, little mountain. And then you get to this side and it's just nice and smooth and, you know, fun. I'm like, okay, well, uh, and then of course Whitley Gap Shelter, which, um, on top of Wildcat Mountain, there was a trail going off to Whitley Gap Shelter, which for some strange reason, they built a shelter 1.1 or 1.2 miles, according to the trail sign away from the trail that's stupid and I don't care if it's you know y'all have other considerations it's over a mile away from the trail that's just dumb and then you know another quarter mile or 0.3 miles past that is where the water is you know there's put a trail uh, uh, put a shelter down here in Hogpin Gap you know but that's that was that was and everybody I talked to uh, you know weren't going to go there Although there was a couple, and I mean a boy and a girl, uh, who, oddly enough, were dressed similar. Uh, I asked them if they were married, and they said, no, we just, it just happened this way. Um, and they said that they, uh, they might do it because of the privacy, because no one's going there. Um, anyway, even with the rainstorm coming up, people didn't go there. And that was, that's, that's how telling it is. Uh, I'm sure if they keep logs as to how many people stay at that, at that shelter, that it's virtually none, you know, it's kind of a, just a drain on resources. 
Anyway, that's Whitley Gap Shelter, and I actually have a haiku for it. Um, because, you know, I have a haiku for them. Short of breath and water, Whitley Gap is far away. Dark rain clouds threaten. Anyway, it's... I like haikus because they're pithy. They're short. They're concise. Um, some people can be concise and say nothing, and but haikus are supposed to be... Uh, you know, pithy and concise, which is cool. Anyway, um, that's today, um, and that's um, April third. I don't know if I said that before, but April third, um, and I can you can see my hairstyle is that, you know, this is what keeps uh, all the girls coming after me. Um, anyway, I also haven't shaven in a day or two, so I need to um, maybe tomorrow. Because I'll, I'm here. I'm here at water. I can uh, heat up some water and, and do the do the shaving bit uh, before I head out. Because tomorrow should be a nice uh, day. Not so hard. It's four miles to uh, Low Gap Shelter. Um, yesterday morning, of course, I was feeling strong and thought I could go um, the eight miles to it, but I didn't. And then um, after that is another fairly easy day to Blue Mountain Shelter. Um, but I may, but rain on Wednesday may, may cancel that as well. So making some progress, a lot less than I thought I would, especially yesterday. Uh, today I just said it's a rain day. It's a, it's a zero day because of the rain. You know, you just, I, I am not yet to the point where I think miles are more important than trudging in the sop. Um, Although once I once I guess once you get into it you kind of you know, start working every day and you're going with people, being solitary, so far. There's no real strong motivation for me to you know to walk all day in the rain. Um, if there if I had known well anyway, uh, but that's it. Um, have a good night and I'll talk to you tomorrow.